Hello Viking fans and athletes. I want to welcome you to our 2020-21 Winter Sports Awards. Once again, just like we did in the fall, we are obviously doing these virtual. But again, it doesn't change the fact of what we're here for. That's to honor you, the student athletes, for all your hard work, your dedication. And we want to say thank you for all that you've done for Viking Athletics. Hello, I'm Coach Patrick with the Boys Basketball Program. I'll be covering the awards for the 2021 season. Um, just want to give a few thank yous real quick. Uh, thank you for the administration for allowing us to have a season. Most teams didn't have the full season like we did. And thank Aaron Butcher and Emily Gearhart and Chris Seacrest for all their work in the athletic department. Uh, Michelle Hoffman and the custodians do a great job for us. Uh, Johnny Witham and the stats. Aaron Walter and Sharon Kendig um, for doing our book. Tim and Rita for all the coverage we get on WRSW. Um, the fans, we were allowed to have fans at many games. It was great to have, have a few there. The road games, we didn't get many. And, uh, you know, parents for the, for the crazy schedule we had this year with all the changes and the transportation and then providing food for the away games. We really appreciate that. So I'll start with the, uh, just going through who gets um, the plain chevrons. These kids will need to stop by the office and pick these up. But uh, Braden Shepard, Landon Walters, Rex Kirkenstein, Brendan Stump, DJ Estep, Nolan Cumberland, Dawson Perkins, Chase Miller, Paul Lazier, and Dylan Neese will need to stop by the office. They will get playing chevrons. Basketball chevron only will be Cooper Walls and Dominic Welp. And then a basketball chevron and their TV patch will be Damian Kohler and Kyler Johnson. And getting all three, the basketball chevron, TV patch, and numerals this year will be Riley Shepard. So those kids can stop by the office and pick those up. And I will start with the awards for the C team. The C team went 8-1 and one this year, had a very good year with mostly uh, freshmen. Um, the uh, leading rebounder for a C team will be Kyler Johnson. Leading assist this year for C team is Nathan Parker. And best free throw percentage this year is also Nathan Parker. So congratulations to those three. Like I said, we had a very successful C team and we look forward to, to great things from those kids. The JV Basketball Awards, the JV finished 16-6 and six this year, had a very good season as well. Um, and the leading rebounder this year with 109 rebounds was Dylan Neese. Leading assist this year for the JV is Cooper Walls with 70. And the best free throw percentage this year on the JV was Landon Walters at 76%. And now we will conclude with the Varsity Awards. The varsity awards this year, varsity team started off pretty rough with injuries and COVID and uh, finished the year on a stronger note, finished at 7-16, and 16, but our last 10 games we were 5-5 five and five with everybody there and healthy. So it was much, much better into the season than the start. So um, starting off with captains, these are voted on by the, by the players and coaches. Chase Miller, Paul Lazier, and Brennan Stump were our three captains voted on by the team and the coaches. Um, the Booster Club Award will be Senior Chase Miller. Congratulations, Chase. Mental Attitude Award, which is also voted on by the players and the coaches, will be Landon Walters. And the field goal percentage this year at 56.5% was Dawson Perkins. The best free throw percentage this year at 88.5% will be Nolan Cumberland. Our leading rebounder this year with 178 rebounds was Dawson Perkins. Leading assist this year with 50 assists was Brendan Stump. The best three point percentage this year at 38.7% was Paul Lazier. And most steals this year was 28 steals by Brendan Stump. So congratulations to everyone who won an award. Please stop by the office and pick these up. And if you have any questions or anything, you know how to reach me. Thank you.